In this video, we're going to talk about the limit comparison test. Consider the two sequences, A sub n and B sub n. Let's say they're both positive, they're both greater than zero. If we take the limit as n approaches infinity of A sub n divided by b sub n, and if we show that it's equal to some positive finite number L, then we can make this conclusion, that these two series will both converge or they will both diverge. So let's say if we can establish that this series converges then the other one will converge as well, as long as the limit of a sub n divided by b sub n is equal to a finite number. Or let's say if this series diverges, then the other one has to diverge as well, based on the limit comparison test. Now let's try an example problem. So let's say we have the series n squared divided by n to the fifth power plus 8. So use the limit comparison test to determine if this series is going to converge or if it's going to diverge. Now when n gets very large, the 8 becomes insignificant. So we can compare the original series to this new one n squared divided by n to the fifth power. Now we could reduce it. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So this is equal to n raised to the negative third power. And so we can rewrite that as 1 over n cubed. Now, what type of series do we have on the right side? Notice that it's a p-series. And in that particular example, p is equal to 3. Now, what do we know when p is greater than 1? When p is greater than 1, the series will converge. So now, let's use the limit comparison test to see if this is going to converge as well. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to call this a sub n and 1 over n cubed. Let's identify that as b sub n. So we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity, a sub n divided by b sub n. But instead of writing it that way, I'm going to write it as a sub n times the reciprocal of b sub n. So this is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity, n squared divided by n to the fifth plus 8 times 1 over 1 over n cubed. 1 divided by 1 over n cubed is the same as n to the third power. So now we have the limit as n goes to infinity n to the fifth power divided by n to the fifth power plus 8. So notice that the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, and that is it's both degree 5. And so the limit, when n gets very large, is simply going to be the ratio of these two numbers. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So the limit does approach a finite number, in this case, 1. So because it approaches a finite number, then both series must converge. So we know the first one converges. And so by the limit comparison test, the other one must converge as well. Now let's move on to our second example problem. 
So we have a series that goes from 0 to infinity, and it's 1 divided by the square root of n squared plus 2. So go ahead and use the limit comparison test to see if this series is going to converge or if it's going to diverge. So what other series can we compare it to? So let's eliminate the 2. If we do so, this is going to be 1 divided by the square root of n squared. And the square root of n squared is n. So we have the harmonic series, which is also a p series, where p is 1. And so if p is equal to 1, or if it's less than 1, then this is going to be a divergent series. So let's see if this is going to diverge as well. So this is going to be a sub n. And let's make this b sub n. So the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n times 1 over b sub n, we're going to have this. Now b sub n is 1 over n, and 1 divided by 1 over n is n. So this is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity, and then n divided by the square root of n squared plus 2. Now what I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by 1 over n. Now 1 over n is the same as the square root of 1 divided by n squared. And so this is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity. And then n times 1 over n, that's going to be equal to 1. And then if we multiply the things inside of the square root, 1 over n squared times n squared, and that's going to be 1. And then 1 over n squared times 2 inside the radical is going to be 2 over n squared. So now, as n approaches infinity, this is going to be 1 divided by the square root of 1, and 2 over n squared, that's going to go to 0. So then this whole thing is equal to 1. So we know that this series diverges, and because we have a finite value, the other series must diverge as well. Now let's work on this example. So we have the series 1 over 3 to the n plus 5. Will that series converge or will it diverge? So the 5 is insignificant when n is large. So we can compare this series to this one. And so you can rewrite this as 1 over 3 raised to the n. So what type of series do we have here? Notice that this is a geometric series. And the common ratio is 1 over 3. So anytime the absolute value of the common ratio, if it's a less than 1, then the geometric series, will it converge or diverge? If the absolute value of r is less than 1, the series is convergent. So now what about this one? Will that be convergent as well? Well, let's find out. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity. a sub n times 1 over b sub n. So let's call this, as usual, a sub n.
Now let's multiply it by 1 over b to the n. So if b to the n is 1 over 3 to the n, 1 over b to the n is going to be just 3 to the n. Now, when n is very large, the 5 is insignificant. So this expression turns into this one. We're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity of 3 to the n divided by 3 to the n. And ultimately, this is going to converge to 1. So once again, we have a finite value for the limit. So we know that this is the convergent geometric series. So therefore, by the limit comparison test, this must also be a convergent series. And that's it for this problem.